Yeah, so the, the modern OLED device, which uh, all OLED displays and lighting products are, are based on today, was actually invented around uh, the early 1980s by uh, former colleagues of mine at Eastman Kodak, uh, Ching Tang and Steve Van Slyk. They first published uh, a paper in Applied Physics Letters in 1987. So their device was essentially just a, a two electrode device with a ITO anode and two organic layers sandwiched uh, between the ITO anode and a, a magnesium silver cathode. Um, so that work's been cited tens of thousands of times to date. Uh, they're credited with the invention of the modern OLED. And Kodak actually worked on this technology up until 2009 when they exited the business and uh, essentially uh, sold the technology to uh, LG uh, Display Company of Korea. Um, LG and uh, Samsung, their competitor in Korea, actually are commercializing that technology and make uh, a lot of OLED uh, display products. Uh, for instance, my smartphone here is a Samsung smartphone, but that's a, a nice active matrix OLED display on there. Most uh, Samsung smartphones and handheld products use OLED displays these days. Later this year, in 2012, we expect to see the first uh, large televisions formed using uh, Active Matrix OLED technology. Um, Early this year at uh, Consumer Electronics Show, both Samsung and LG showed 55-inch OLED TVs, which they said they plan to actually start selling later this year. So having worked on this technology for about 15 years in my career, it's kind of exciting to see uh, at least display products come out in mass quantities. Uh, part of our mission here at Moser Bayer is to basically um, commercialize and mass produce OLED lighting technology. Uh, the biggest challenge from a market standpoint is getting the cost down. And right now it's probably an order of magnitude or more, ex more expensive than uh, fluorescent and other established lighting technologies. So a lot of our focus here in our pilot lab is to essentially uh, develop the uh, high throughput manufacturing technologies very using cost effective materials and techniques and uh, basically bring that cost down to a point where it's uh, more affordable and can reach uh, mass market um, where it can really then penetrate into, into high volumes.